everybody. Welcome to Water Talk, brought to you by Water Online. My name is Angela Godwin, coming to you from WEFTEC here in New Orleans. My guest today is Stephen Horn with Kayser Compressor. Stephen, thank you so much for coming by and chatting with me today. Thank you very much for having us. Now, you know, we might have some viewers that aren't familiar with Kayser. Can you tell us a little bit about the products and services and things you guys do for the industry? Certainly. Uh, well, Kayser is a, uh, a compressor manufacturer, but we also manufacture blowers. And uh, here at the Waste Boy Industry, uh, we offer uh, a variety of blowers of different technologies, starting with our positive displacement lobe blowers, which we've had for many years and been offering to different customers. Uh, we also have a rotary screw blower, also positive displacement, uh, more, a more new product to the water industry. And additionally, we have a uh, high-speed turbo blower. Mm -hmm. um, so we have these uh, three technologies that we offer, as well as a variety of different levels of products uh, which contain those uh, technologies. That's great. That's great. Now, I want to ask you while I have you here, I've been hearing references to something called, I think it's isentropic efficiency. Yes. Is that right? So what is that and how is that um, important in blowers and... Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very scientific sounding name, and yeah. it is. It's derived from uh, thermodynamics. Uh, so, isentropic efficiency is a ratio of what we call isentropic power. Uh -huh. Isentropic power is if you put your, your scenario into a mathematical equation, um, how much energy uh, it should uh, take to uh, achieve that effort. And then the ratio from that is to what if you had a machine in that same situation, the machine will consume more power. So if you do the ratio of the isentropic power to uh, real power, this is a, a, what we call isentropic efficiency. And this is a, a valuable metric because it is a good way to compare uh, existing technologies or see which one performs better. So it's a simple number and the higher the number, the better. So uh, the higher your number, the more efficient you are. So it's a quick way to, to have a reference uh, for a machine or multiple data points about your performance and how you can expect to see that machine work for you. That's great. Now, is there any difference in, uh, I'm, I'm just, blowers have different efficiency and different isentropic sure. efficiency, I'm sure. How does it differ among different blowers? Absolutely, so uh, the dominant technologies in the wastewater market are your, uh, traditionally, you have your roots type rotor lobe uh, PD machines, mm -hmm. which I mentioned earlier. And on the dynamic side, you have your, uh, we'll say, multi-stage uh, compressors. Um, so uh, those typically have isentropic efficiencies 50 to 60%. Um, and then the newer technologies that I mentioned, rotary screw mm -hmm. and uh, high-speed turbos, those efficiencies will typically range in the 75 to 80%. So these are the new technologies that are coming in. Um, not to say the old technologies uh, can't be utilized, mm -hmm. but people looking for uh, increased performance, energy efficiency, uh, just by changing those technologies, you can see just by the numbers mm -hmm. um, how much they can uh, increase the performance and savings and energy they can have. That's great. That's awesome. So I wanted to ask about some of the other kind of new things that you're excited about. Is there anything else you'd want to mention that you're particularly you know, excited to share with the market? Yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago we got involved. Uh, Kaser's always been known as a positive displacement uh, company, uh -huh. uh, both from our air compressor side as well as our blower side with uh, lobes and screws. Uh, but more recently we uh, uh, brought out or acquired and launched a high-speed turbo uh, product line. Mm -hmm. um, so we're excited to have this and we've been pushing it out there. It's our uh, Kaser Pillarator. So it's a high-speed turbo. Uh, which I mentioned earlier. Yep. Um, so we're we're excited to have that. We have it here, and uh, looking to to get that into the market, uh, uh, so customers can see the benefits of this of this new machine that we have. Excellent. That's awesome. So um, when I was going uh, down the floor earlier, I I saw this big yellow. Is it a is it a turbo blower? What what is that big yellow yeah. machine you have in your? Yeah, that that's the pillarator. So it's a it's in a rental skid at the moment, but uh, you can get it without. Um, so that's the turbo blower, and uh, additionally, next to it is a brand, brand, brand new machine. It is on our positive displacement line. This is the our uh, our FBS machine. It's a mm -hmm. screw blower. Um, so this is a, a new machine. We've had FBS in the field for several years, so it's getting a, a, a facelift and a remodel. It went from uh, belt drive to gear drive. So we saw a tremendous amount of. Uh, we also revised some of the design elements to increase performance. 
So it's even better than already fantastic FPS machine. Wow. Uh, so this is coming to the market, uh, going into production very soon. So we're very excited to get this new machine uh, into the field. That's fantastic. And, uh, you know, I think you guys have been doing a lot with regard to system integration. Can you sure. provide an update on what's going on there? Yeah, in the past couple of years, uh, Kaiser's really been in, uh, investing a lot in they call the uh, industrial Internet of Things, Industry mm -hmm. 4.0, all these buzz terms that yeah. we hear. And uh, Kaiser's been trying to be in the forefront of this. And this is always uh, on display at our booths uh, for compressors and blowers. And here for our blowers, we have um, a blower station mm -hmm. installed. Uh, so we have our machines. Um, and we also have what we call our master controller, our Sigma Air Manager, or SAM. Mm -hmm. uh, so this master controller looks over the blower, the blower station. And then we have a, uh, a PLC there, which is representing a customer's SCADA or plant PLC. Yep. So uh, with a data cable from the PLC to the SAM, you can extract all the information and performance uh, streaming from the machines to the SAM, wow. and then from the SAM to the plant. So it kind of shows customers what is capable mm -hmm. of our machines, and also to give them a sense of you know, what they can do on their own in their own facilities. I think in the past two years, everybody's kind of learned that having integration and data and all these things that they can do uh, without people there. Yep. You know, these uh, Sigma Air Managers, like having a full-time employee there all the time, doing math all the time. Uh, so it's always very helpful and interesting for them to see. And all this is encapsulated in our enclosure systems, uh -huh. which we are building uh, as well. So we can deliver a complete station uh, with an enclosure, ventilation, power distribution, piping, all that is ready to go. You set it on, on, on your facility, pipe it up, put power to it, and everything's ready I'm to good go. Good to go. Yes. Wow, that's great. And I think in your booth, you, you had kind of like a live sort of a station set up. Yeah, this there. is that live station yeah. that I mentioned. So yeah. you can come see this and uh, see it run and go through its paces nice. and uh, see all these things happening in real time. That's fantastic. Well, I really appreciate your time and swinging by today. Um, you know, if our viewers want to learn a little bit more about anything we talked about today, where would you send them for some information? Well, I think the best place to go is probably our website, and that is uh, www kaiser.com so it's kaiser k-a-e-s-e-r uh, dot com so uh, lots of information on there and uh, thanks for having us fantastic Stephen thank you for coming by wishing all the best going forward appreciate it and for Water Talk brought to you by Water Online my name is Angela Godwin